on WWE Universe! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power! Yeah! Time to hop aboard the positivity bus, gentlemen! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E! Oh, man, how can you not get hyped for the arrival of Big E? Look at those dance moves. I promise I'm doing my best not to look at those dance moves. Big E does have an unconventional approach to an in-ring celebration, but the crowd is loving it. It's because it's so hypnotizing. Get it? Hips? You can't look away from those hips. I would rather be anywhere than here right now. I think I'm... Yep, I just threw up a little. Here comes a true warrior. And his opponent, representing the bar from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Byron, you should get a haircut like that. Why, so I can look stupid? I'm gonna tell Sheamus you said that. No, no, no please right don't. Right after this no, match. it was a slip of the tongue. Now you think about everything that Sheamus has accomplished, four-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion, former King of the Ring, two-time United States Champion, just to name a few of those accomplishments. But Sheamus talking to him feels like he isn't given the respect that he deserves as one of the most decorated champions in this company. gets underway. I don't want to lose perspective on just how unique this situation is. We have Biggie and Sheamus essentially competing over the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. This is groundbreaking content from our new general manager, Brooklyn Von Braun. And honestly, I'm all for anything that breaks the mold. I think I'm going to have to wait and see how the series plays out before I weigh in, but my initial reaction is this isn't exactly fair for the champion, Red. It's not about being fair, Byron. It's about entertaining the WWE Universe, and that's exactly what this accomplishes. I wonder if Mr. Booty were to penetrate my ears. He's definitely got all pistons firing right now. Boom, right across the small of the back. A quick reversal by Sheamus. good way to make your presence felt. Sheamus looking a little bit surprised here. He planned for this and could still rally. Big back bodies rock. Inside the ring now. A superstar needs a strategy going into every match. To have any sort of chance against Big E, you have to find a way to take away the man's power. Huge overhead belly to belly. And it. Big E goes for the big ending. Sheamus counters. Bro kick. This could be it. Sheamus gets the win. And more importantly, the series is now tied up at a win each. Going down 2 0 would have been a disaster for Becky Lynch and her Savages, but now it's a whole new series.
You didn't hear this from me, but Red's getting a little nervous now that the series is tied up. No, she doesn't need to worry. Because after my match against Finn, we'll be one win away from taking the series. Then Red can defend her title versus Becky in the ring. You know, how it's usually done. That's good. Hey, this might be a little late, but I had an idea for our team name. The New Trey. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. What do you think? Uh, I, uh, think I heard my music. Uh, gotta run. And his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! You want to talk about bonafide superstars, you want to talk world travel talent, then look no further than Finn Balor. Former NXT champion, first ever Universal Champion, multi-time Intercontinental Champion. Wherever he goes, greatness isn't too far behind. You're absolutely right, Michael. Finn Balor is the complete package, and he's got the accolades to prove it. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has the it factor, look no further than Finn Balor. With a series now tied up in one victory each, this match is pivotal 
in giving one team a 2-1 lead and putting them a win away from taking both the series and the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think this is where we start to see the experience and cohesiveness of Becky Lynch's Savages take over. Even though these are singles matches, Red and Trey barely know the New Day. And if things start to go south, they could all fall apart. I have to agree with Corey. We know Red and Trey are tight, and certainly the New Day have been teaming for a very long time, but I question the kind of bond the five of them have been able to create in just a few weeks. And Xavier Woods executing the reversal. Face Buster! Producing a trampling. That's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. Woods is having his way. No question, he's found a burst. Spinning arm breaker. Sling blade by Finn Balor. And it's it. Finn Balor lands hard. Finn might be hurt. Yeah, it looks like he might have tweaked his knee. Wait a minute. What's Pete Dunne doing out here? Well, maybe he wants to check on his teammate. That's why he's here. And Finn Balor suddenly recovers. He's going to the top. It's all over. Was Finn Balor ever really hurt, or was this just a setup by Becky Lynch and her savages? This is unbelievable. The entire series just turned on that interference. Hey, what was I saying earlier about team cohesiveness? That's exactly how it pays off. And now Becky Lynch has the opportunity to beat Red and win it all. You should have been in a position to win the series against Becky Lynch. I'm sorry I let you down. You didn't. All that matters is we're still alive. Now I just need to beat Becky to even up the series, and then it's up to Trey to close it out. You got this. Then after that, well... You got this. You've got a lot of nerves showing up in our locker room. I'll go wherever the hell I want, especially since I'm about to be the new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I guarantee I'm gonna beat you and tie the series up. Okay, then what? Because even if you somehow manage that, then your friend Trey's going against my friend Drew in the final match. And we all know my friend's just a little bit tougher than yours. So like I said, one way or another, that championship's coming back where it belongs. If you're so confident, how about we get things started right now? Nah, nah, I need to go warm up first. Don't want to pull a muscle slapping your head off.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Raleigh, North Carolina, Princess Babyface. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. That's it. Come on, let's go. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her career as well she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. The man is in the building. Look at the look on the face of the Irish last kicker. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky I'm kind of tired of hearing the man this and the man that. After a while, the time for talk has to be over and the time for action has to start. It seems like Becky Lynch would rather take the time for social media. Oh, wait, are you talking about Becky Lynch or yourself, Corey? Yes, Becky is known to run her mouth and her typing fingers, but no one can honestly deny that she always brings her A game when it's time to fight. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. We spoke earlier about a team's back being up against the wall, and that's certainly the case for Red, as she faces Becky Lynch down 2-1 with the series in her championship on the line. That's what I was saying about this series being unfair for Red. She can defeat Becky Lynch, but still lose her title if Trey were to go down in the final match. Or Becky Lynch can beat Red right now, making this whole discussion pointless. I suggest we see what happens before anyone starts a protest. Straight forearm. Suplex. Changes her fortune there. Just sending a message there. Becky Lynch is the very picture of proving the doubters wrong, of not letting disadvantages bring you down or defying the odds. She will take on all comers and all challengers, never backing down from a fight. In fact, she said it herself. She likes to get punched. I always assumed she had a few screws loose, but you just confirmed it, Saxton. Oh, no. Now, Corey, I wouldn't necessarily say Becky Lynch has a few screws loose, but her decision-making can be a bit impulsive at times. Call it her Irish temper, call it straight fire, but even Becky herself would admit that she doesn't always make what people would call the most rational decision. I think to understand Becky Lynch's decision-making, you have to understand the road she's traveled. For so many years, Becky felt like an afterthought, like it was a long shot for her to even be in the championship picture. And when she finally embraced her inner confidence, finally embraced being the man, she promised herself she would never let things like odds or the idea that she's at a disadvantage drive her again. She would never approach a situation like she's coming from behind, always from ahead. Great reflexes. And she's back in the ring now. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Look at this raw power. Right sit out power bomb. Oh, stomping away. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. What does Becky Lynch have to do at this point to stay in the match? She needs to turn the tide here. And she's getting fired up here. That is a beautiful thing to watch. Power bomb. Becky Lynch 
just too fast for her. She ducks out of the way there. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Headbutt! Becky Lynch is rolling. The Irish last kicker fired up. And it's scouted. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Reverses. Can she take advantage? Back suplex. Look at this raw power. Sit out, power bomb. Things have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She could be out of this match. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. Up and down the hard way. Oh, God. hoping to end it here. This is it. Out. The size of this girl's heart is simply immeasurable. Power bomb! The better part of Valor. Oh, boom! Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. That's unique, Corey. to the midsection. These attacks to the core are clearly having an effect here, Cole. Powerbomb! Look at this raw power. Sit out, Powerbomb! She's taking charge here. Yeah, she's able to tap into an energy source few others can. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Rough landing. Powerbomb planted. Power bomb! <laughs> Becky Lynch just too fast for her. And now that one's countered. Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. Look at this raw power. Sit out, power bomb. Incredible impact. She's calling her out. Up and down with a power bomb. Good luck getting up from that. Does Becky Lynch even know it? For the pin and the win. Yes. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Here is your winner, Princess Babyface. 
and she picks up the win. Look out, women's locker room. This girl is for real. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. I'm not trying to make you nervous or anything, but it's all come down to this. Match five against Drew McIntyre for the championship I've held for a record-setting two and a half years. Well, when you put it that way, there's definitely no pressure. Sorry, it's just hard not having control over what happens, but I know you can do this. Just treat it like any other regular match. Sure. I mean, that might be a little difficult with the giant stack of pancakes and grass-covered ramp, but I'll try my best. That's all I can ask. I wanted to let you know the guys and I got together and decided that if you pull off the series win, we'll consider calling our team the new Trey like you suggested. Really? That's awesome. Sure, I mean, we probably won't team up that often or ever again after this, but still, the offer stands. Oh, well, thanks. Go get him, champ! Are you happy? There's a chance I could lose my title without ever being pinned. If it makes you feel any better, Becky Lynch promised me that no one from her side will get involved in the final match. Oh, she promised you. Then I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Where do they keep the popcorn around here? I don't normally put trash food in my body, but I think watching your team let you down is worth an exception. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greensboro, North Carolina, weighing in at 259 pounds, Mr. Wilson. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. Here comes the Scottish Psychopath! And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. I 
I believe, a future world champion in WWE. Byron, this man is just hungry. Uh, it's proven in his actions, and Drew McIntyre has made it his mantra to eradicate complacency from WWE by any means necessary. This is it. With the teams tied at two wins each, it all comes down to match five for the series in Red SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Trey's been in a lot of big matches throughout his career, but the professional and personal ramifications of this might be bigger than any other. Red may not talk to him for weeks if he's the reason her record-setting championship reign comes to an end. This might be putting undue responsibility on Trey since two of his teammates lost matches earlier tonight. However, I will agree he's facing immense pressure being in this winner-takes-all position. And I know I certainly wouldn't want to be him right now. Turning the momentum to his favor. Yeah, and he seems to have an endless supply of energy. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. Whoa, McIntyre able to avoid damage there. That'll slow Drew McIntyre down a bit. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. And again, yet another counter. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Single leg drop kick caught him. Ooh, well measured. Just tossed. She get airline miles for that. Hooked him up. And a suplex. Monkey flip. And there's the reversal from Drew McIntyre. Power bomb. Wicked shot. Hook them. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while chapter one didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a foreshadowing of his future. Trey and Drew trading blows. What a headbutt by Drew McIntyre. And the ref goes down. We've seen just about everything tonight. A second in. Is that who I think it is? It's Samoa Joe. We haven't seen Samoa Joe in six or seven years since he was fired from WWE after a shocking loss to Trey for the Universal title. Well, apparently, he hasn't gotten over that. What the heck is that? It looks like some kind of enhanced arm. Like Samoa Joe wasn't deadly enough already. Unbelievable. This is shocking. I cannot believe Samoa Joe is back. I know, after all this time, I never thought we'd see him again. And he just broke Trey in half. And now Drew McIntyre covers Trey. It's all over. Becky Lynch and her team has won the best of five series, and Becky is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. It looks like Trey's gonna throw up. I don't blame him. Not only did he lose the series and Red's championship, but the nightmare that is Samoa Joe has returned to terrorize him. I'm back, and I'm coming 
for you. I'm honestly stunned at what we've just witnessed. <laughs> and so is Trey. This is going to send shockwaves throughout WWE. If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. <laughs> 